uh, on the panel right now. Well, thank you and good afternoon. Uh, certainly on behalf of the entire University of Louisiana, I can also say we are very excited and honored to be a participant in the AutoNation Cure Bowl this year. Uh, certainly for me, it, this game has very special meaning. Uh, not too long ago, my wife was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer, and so uh, whether it was fate or just apropos, we, we feel like there's a, a true meaning uh, behind the University of Louisiana participating in this year's game. Uh, certainly, we know that uh, the, the driver behind this particular bowl game has special meaning uh, as it raises a great deal of money to further enhance the research to ultimately find a cure for this disease. So, very excited to be here, uh, truly honored, and, and again, it has very special meaning for myself and, and my entire family. Any questions? How is your wife doing? Doing well. You know, she's uh, uh, about six weeks into the diagnosis, and uh, I would tell you, uh, you know, there are peaks and valleys, right? Uh, the good news is it was uh, caught early, diagnosis stage one, but uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't say there's a lot of uh, mental and psychological anguish that goes along with it. So the, the, the peaks represent uh, the moments where she hangs on to the fact that it was caught early and the prognosis is good, but the valleys uh, are captured by the, the, the mind playing the what-if games. And so that's what we're fighting through, and I, we know that that's not uncommon for anybody that receives such a diagnosis. But uh, at the end of the day, she's, she's doing quite well. Thank you. Can you kind of take us through the reaction when you get that news, when she gets the news and you get the yeah. news? Yeah, you know, it, it's just, it's a, like a punch in the stomach. Um, you know, she uh, was somebody who a month earlier had a uh, clear mammogram. Uh, had just turned 50 years old, and she might get mad at me for sharing the age, but uh, uh, just turned 50 years old, had the, had the routine checkup, and uh, uh, it, was, it was clear. And then uh, kind of through a self-exam, felt uh, a very small lump, and went in and had it checked out, and very quickly it was determined that it was malignant and that it was breast cancer. This is the fourth year of this bowl and you know this bowl is come when the clock's hit zeros on Saturday it will raise more than four million to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. How important do you believe that money is to, in this fight? Well I think you know unfortunately we, it often sometimes takes you to be directly impacted you know by something like this uh, to really probably have the appreciation that I hope everybody ultimately has at, at some point um, so for us it's extremely important we know there's not a, a for sure cure you know for this disease right now but we also realize that even in the past five to ten years a great amount of progress has been made in the research and so um, treatment protocols are becoming more and more efficient, they're becoming more and more streamlined. Um, and you know, the, the key, I believe, is early detection. I mean, that's what it is today. And so the earlier women can uh, make sure that they are staying on top of their health in that regard, uh, certainly the better for them, because today we do know that if caught early, prognosis can be extremely positive. Thanks for sharing. Thank you guys very much.